are on the road Must have a code That you can live by And so Become yourself Because the past Is just a goodbye Teach Your children well Their father's hell Did slowly go by Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the vlog. Going to get breakfast right now at this place called Homegrown. I've been there one time before. I unloaded the dishwasher and started a load of whites just to like get started on all of the cleanup around the house, but we'll go back and like flip the laundry and everything. Someone is honking. It hasn't rained in Atlanta for a little while, so I'm not really against it raining. Right now it's just kind of misting. I wouldn't be against it like actually pouring. I made a list of a few things I wanna get done today slash errands I have to run. Started on the laundry and unloading the dishwasher. Have more laundry to do, of course going to breakfast, have an apartment tour at 2.30, going to see a movie at 4.30. I didn't see a movie all of October at AMC and I have AMC A-list, so it's like, I need to go use it. Two vlogs ago, I went to Framebridge to get things framed and they emailed me and said that they're ready. So I wanna go pick those up today so I can give my sister one of those things for her very, very late birthday present. I need to edit my last vlog, but that doesn't really concern you guys. You guys don't really need to know that. We'll see if there are other errands that I fit in there. This weather is so weird. It really is just like a mist. I got three breakfast tacos with home fries and then we got a pancake to split and of course a Coca-Cola that I need a refill on. Breakfast was really good and now I'm at Framebridge about to pick up both of my frames. I'm so excited to see them. Hi, here to pick up two frames. Thank you. Ooh, they're so cute. Mm -hmm. That is so fun. So cute. That is so fun. They're Aww, really so cute. Thank you so much so for helping cool. me with everything. So cute. I can't wait for your sister to get hers. <laughs> Home. The frames look so good. If you guys didn't watch two vlogs ago, one of them is for me and then one of them is for my sister. So I need to go over to my sister's maybe later today or tomorrow and give her hers. I'm going to tour an apartment in literally like 10 minutes, but before I go, I'm gonna flip this laundry and then maybe start a new load. I might not have time to really do that, but I'm gonna at least flip my whites before I head out. The house isn't that far away, so I'm just gonna walk there. Already back from the tour. I walked there, toured it came back really quickly. It's not the one, unfortunately. I didn't even take like any sort of video because the person is still living there. I didn't wanna like film their stuff. It's not the one mostly because it only comes furnished. Like there's not an option for it to come unfurnished, which would be great if you like moved here and you didn't have anything. Also the downside is that like someone would be above you and you were kind of like in a house, but you were on the lower floor, but you had like a back entrance. So you did have your own porch and stuff. But I do wonder what the natural light situation would be like. Obviously I couldn't really tell today because it's so gloomy out. So like there was no light. The bathrooms were really cute, like had a really good kitchen, really good dining space, like cool master bedroom, really cool bathroom with exposed brick, had like a walk-in closet. Like the space itself was really nice. It's always fun touring apartments, even if like they're not the one. It's fun to just see because you just like see the houses that are like in the neighborhood that you wouldn't see otherwise. Honestly, like I should be touring apartments even when I'm like in the middle of a lease because it's just like so interesting to just like nose around and just see all of these little houses around you. You might be thinking, didn't you say you were moving into a place November 1st? It's after Halloween. I'm still here. November 1st has been pushed to December 1st and that's for certain because here's the thing. We actually have found an apartment. We are still touring places because we haven't signed a lease or anything. We haven't even met her in person. We're supposed to be meeting her this weekend, I think. She just liked me over the phone, I guess, and she took it off Zillow and was like, it's yours if you want it. So we are still touring places just to see if there is something better. We toured the place earlier today. We might, you know, tour like one more spot just to see this place that we found is very cute and I'm very excited about about it and you guys will obviously see it soon. Out of all of the months that you could move, this might be kind of the worst month to move because it's kind of like you have Thanksgiving and then you move and then you have Christmas. It's a very chaotic time to move. When I said that a few vlogs ago that I would be moving into somewhere on November 1st, I was like, maybe I shouldn't say it that strongly because like there is a high chance that I don't find a place and it will be pushed back another month. And here we are, it was pushed back another month. But December 1st, 100%, we will be moving. Get excited for a lot of vlogs in December 
with moving again, organizing stuff, seeing a whole new space. I'm so excited. It feels like such a long time coming. In my mind, I've been like constantly in flux for six months because I decided to move in June. Now it's December. Obviously, like I've been living here for four months, but like my stuff, I don't know. I just have felt, you know, a little out of sorts or a little up in the air for six months in terms of like moving and like having all of my stuff in one place and just like feeling settled. I'm really excited to like finally feel grounded. That's the moving update. That's the apartment hunt update. And I'm going to do a load of darks and then probably just hang out and like hopefully edit. We'll see if I get any work done until it's time for the movie. Okay. It's a couple hours later. I think I watched like two, three YouTube videos. Didn't do a single ounce of work. Just sat on my laptop, but we're at AMC right now. We're going to see We Live in Time. We're in Auditorium 6. I think that this is like a really small theater from what I remember when I booked it. It's like five rows and I booked us in the back row because I was like, felt kind of weird to Look closer than that because there's only like five rows. Good morning, everyone. I didn't talk to you guys after the movie. The movie was, the movie made me cry quite a bit, okay? But yeah, the movie was good and then we just got back and like hung out on the couch and watched the new episode of The Penguin. I was just editing, fucking around on my computer, you know, the usual. I broke out my old fleece that I used to wear on like every single walk in Los Angeles. I got it from storage a few vlogs ago and it feels like the day to kind of break it out. Still pretty overcast today. I think we're gonna go on a walk and then on the walk, we're gonna discuss what recipes we would be interested in making this week. Tomorrow is election day. We really wanna figure out a recipe to make tomorrow. Kind of distract ourselves from the televisions from our phones from our laptops and maybe a good comfort meal. We're gonna need comfort throughout this entire week. So some good recipes might kind of help us, help us in the future. Walk, grocery list, run over to my sister's and give her her gift, grocery store. I think I also wanna read a little bit today. Right now I'm reading Wellness by Nathan Hill and I've been reading it since the beach. I started it at the beach and since being home, I think I've read like 2%, you know? So I really wanna pick that up again before everything that I've read kind of goes out of my mind, you know? Cause I easily forget stuff. So maybe some reading on the docket today as well. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. The decision has been made that we're gonna go to Howdy's and get a coffee and maybe a blueberry scone. Hopefully they have some left. years ago in the last election is when I started knitting because I ordered materials to make this pink and red vest because I had knitted scarves and stuff throughout high school. I don't know why I like picked knitting specifically, but I wanted something to do during the election so I didn't have to like look at the TV and my phone and my laptop. And then I just never stopped knitting after it. So it's actually kind of like the four year anniversary of when I got really, really into knitting. And I don't have a project to start knitting tomorrow on election day. Mm. Trump is so awful that he literally drove me to become so obsessed with knitting. That's how anxious I was. It might get worse actually in the next four years. I'm about to head to the grocery store, but I'm stopping by my sister's to give her her gift. Okay, there's two things in this box. One of them is mine and then one of them is yours. I brought mine just so you could see both of them. I thought it was sweet that we would have the same frame. So we're like matching, but different. Yeah, know? that's fun. I really like this frame.
tonight we're going to have tilapia, Brussels sprouts, and mashed potatoes. So that's everything for tonight. And then tomorrow we're going to have a chili. So for the chili, there's some ground beef, kidney beans. We have some crushed tomatoes, some diced tomatoes. Here's some spices. Needed some chili powder, cumin, tomato paste, some onions. This lemon, I think we got to go with the tilapia. Beef broth for the chili, jalapeno for the chili, some garlic for the chili, a red bell pepper for the chili. It was supposed to be a green bell pepper, but the green bell peppers just like did not look good at all. So we went with the red one instead. And then some stuff for sandwiches. So bread, turkey, some lettuce and tomato. Should have gotten more mayonnaise actually. I think we need more mayonnaise. The chili also called for one cup of beer slash we might want this tomorrow for election day. So that has two uses. Some more creamer because we're almost out. Some coffee beans to make some cold brew. I think I pointed out everything on the table. Plus we got some Coke Zero because we're almost out of Coke Zero and they already have the Christmas packaging. I'm gonna put this all in the fridge and then I'm probably gonna shower. Actually, before I shower, I think I'm gonna set up my new Kindle. I opened this in my last vlog, but I still haven't set it up because after I shower, I think I wanna get cozy on the couch and try to read for most of the afternoon and tonight. But I think I want to try reading on my new Kindle instead of my old Kindle this afternoon. I hate calling it my old Kindle. It's not even that old. It just feels mean to call it the old Kindle. Like there's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to put this one in this case that I got from that Kindle event in LA that I went to a while ago. This case is fine, but I honestly like love the cases that open up like this. I didn't organize the stickers in the back of this case. I just literally put it on. Okay, first things first, I need to pick the Wi-Fi network. I don't even know the name of the Wi-Fi network. It's been so long since I've connected to it. Okay, I don't know the password for the Wi-Fi. Let me go look on the modem really quickly. Okay, we've connected to the Wi-Fi. Sign into my Amazon account. Let's see if I can remember the password for this. That's definitely not gonna be it. I'll be shocked, okay? Not me getting that on the first try. 90 days of free Audible because I just registered this Kindle. That's fucking sick. The world is really my oyster. I don't think I got a free Audible offer with this one, or maybe I did and I just like didn't use it. Oh my God, I get a free trial with Kindle Unlimited too. Yeah. Do you guys see that? Look how colorful the little homepage is. Oh my God. This is me comparing my lock screens right now. That's so fun. Wow. Right now I'm 46% in. It's basically about this couple. How do I explain this? To me, it's about this couple that meets each other and is just so compatible. They're so in love. They're so ready to spend the rest of their lives together. And then you fast forward to the future and you kind of see how they've lost that magic, how they've forgotten that they were so in love and so perfect together because all of these other things come into play like buying a house having a kid just stresses of a career as you get older it's kind of about the evolution of a relationship it's not even necessarily about them falling out of love I mean maybe they do I haven't read the last 50% of the book it's just about all of the things that can put a strain on a relationship as you're building a life together while at the same time both of those people individually are changing and growing in their own ways and they have to like figure out how to stay together and figure out how to not lose that spark. I'm really enjoying it. I don't really know where it's gonna go because it is jumping around in the timeline a lot. So I don't know how far into the future we are going to go into their relationship. I really like it because it's like, you understand what these people are like individually. You get the backstory on their family life. You figure out how they first got together, how they complimented each other when they first got together. You figure out how, as they get older, how those quirks might still complement each other or how, you know, they're not as compatible as they thought that they were when they were younger. I'm really enjoying it as a girl in her twenties who also happens to be dating someone and also happens to be in love. So when I'm reading the scenes when they are younger and they're very excited for the future and they're very unaware of all of the things that are gonna happen in the future that might put a strain on their relationship, I'm finding it enlightening, scary, depressing, heartwarming. I'm experiencing every single emotion. I think that there's a very high potential for this to be a five-star book. Hey y'all. I have my coffee. It's a lovely morning. I have to be so honest and say that everything leading up to this point was filmed before the election or the day of the election. Right now, in this present moment, we are a week out from the election, okay? And we're actually not gonna really talk about it because I'm like not really in the fucking mood. I stopped vlogging for a few days there, but now we're back. I wish I could say that I like can't believe it, but I actually like totally can. In 2016, when he won, I was a junior in college and I remember election night, I was at this party with a few poli sci majors and some of the poli sci majors were like so hopeful, like so excited to like be studying political science, participate in their first election because it was the first time that like anyone my age had voted in an election. And there were some poli sci majors at that party that were so hopeful 
helpful. And there were some poli sci majors that like literally like knew it before any of the coverage started. They were like, he's going to win. A lot of people don't see it coming. And it was like so shocking and upsetting in 2016, like to the point where the next day at school, a lot of teachers were like, you don't have to come to class, which was like really so sweet of Tulane, love you to death. This time around, it's just kind of like, yeah figures you know what did we expect anyways we're really not going to talk about it i swear we're not talking about it anymore because again i don't want to i did finish my book over the past week wellness by nathan hill i loved it so much okay guys i gave this five stars on goodreads i actually like wrote a lengthy review normally on goodreads i write like a sentence or two i loved this book i could not stop highlighting stuff there were so many good quotes if you've ever had anxiety about like how can you stay with someone for forever you're changing as a person they're changing as a person how can you continue to pick each other every single day moving forward when you chose each other at such a young age when you were two different people when you're in your 50s and your 60s and your 70s aren't you different people and would you still pick each other if you met each other then how can we make this thing last is true love real are soulmates real are we just lying to ourselves about this whole till death do us part thing are we just not being very realistic it's so good y'all in 2025 i plan on reading his book the Knicks. i have it in chattanooga tennessee i think my mom got it for me one holiday one year. I don't know, but I haven't read it. So I'm going to snag it over Christmas, either read it while I'm home for Christmas or read it in 2025. Back in the spring when I was in London for Will and Arden's wedding and I went book shopping, I wanted to buy some books that had UK covers. And one of the books that I saw was Wellness by Nathan Hill. And I really wish I had bought that one. I found Wellness by Nathan Hill think of this as a UK specific cover. It looks different than the other one that I've seen. Little did I know that it would come to be a five-star book that I'm obsessed with. I wish I had bought that one. I really messed up there. Speaking of books, as we know, I'm not like a booktuber. This whole channel isn't dedicated to reading books. I just show my life and I happen to read. However, I do want to do two videos. I want to do a TBR for the rest of the year because I've read 39 books this year. I would like to get to 50. I don't know if that's feasible, but I would like to get to 50. So I want to do a TBR of books that I would like to read to reach that goal. I would also like to do a TBR video about 25 books I wanna read in 2025. I think that would be really fun. I've already written down the Knicks by Nathan Hill for the 2025 video, and I've written down a few for the TBR for the rest of the year. But anyways, I would like to make those videos. Another video I would like to make is an empty house tour because guess what? Since we last spoke, gotten the key to the new place. Official move-in date isn't until December 1st, but our landlord is so lovely and she was like, here's the key. You can start moving your stuff. You don't have to wait until the 1st, which is going to be really helpful because Thanksgiving is so close to the end of the month and then it would be like, you're at Thanksgiving, you're out of town, you have to come back, move your stuff out of here by the 1st. It just would have been chaotic, so that's very kind of her and I think we're going to start moving our stuff pretty soon, but I do want to make an empty house tour video because I love watching that kind of stuff, like an empty house tour and then once everything is in and I like everything and everything's on the walls, actual full house House tour. What's going on today, y'all, is that I'm actually going to a brand event. You guys thought those things only happened in LA and New York? No. Every now and then you'll get a brand event in Atlanta. You might get one in Dallas. You might get one in Nashville. Maybe they have some in Chicago. I bet they do. I'm going to a lunch with the brand Philosophy. I have their perfume. I love their perfume. I don't know what product they're coming out with, what they're talking about. I am a little bit nervous, okay, because I don't know anyone that's going to be there. I am going to go inside and probably have another cup of that coffee, even though this one hasn't been finished yet. I am going to finish this and make another one and look at my clothing and see what I'm gonna wear. I just got back. Like, I feel like every single girl there was like, I don't know anyone here. So that was really nice because no one knew anyone. So everybody was like excited to meet people and like make a friend, had some good food. They did like a presentation where they talked about every single product that they gave us, which I'll show you guys everything that they gave me. They had a perfume for everyone at your seat that had your name. So you knew where you were supposed to sit. And then you got to pick out one perfume. So I picked this one out and you could get it engraved. And I got this one engraved with my sister's initials on the back. So I'm gonna give that to her. I think my sister's actually coming over in a second. We got to pick out a body wash scent. I picked this one, Salted Citrus. They all smell good. I really just picked one. I was like, I don't know. I'll just, I'll just grab this one. This is Micro Delivery. I think it's like a face peel. Purity, which is their face cleanser. They also said every 52 seconds, they sell a bottle of this. That's insane. This is Hope in a Jar, which I feel like would be more of a daytime moisturizer or like after you shower or when you wake up in the morning, whenever you moisturize, I feel like this is more daytime because this one is called Ultimate Miracle Worker. And this one has retinol in it. I've always heard that you're supposed 
supposed to use retinol at night. So I feel like this one's more nighttime and this one's more daytime. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure I use retinol only at night. I feel like I heard that one time and I was like, okay, I'm gonna lock that away. And then they gave us this, which I'm pretty sure this is their newest product. This is their body serum. I love body serums. If you don't like that window where you have to wait for your body to dry, you should try body serums instead of lotion. Sometimes I do a body serum and then I do a lotion a little bit later, but sometimes I just do a body serum and then I'm too lazy to do the lotion and that's my haul. I'm gonna take this off and get comfy. I did purchase the Midnight's cardigan from Taylor Swift's official store because I, at this point, it's just like, I mean, like, what can you do? If she comes out with a cardigan, I'm gonna buy it. I own every single one. I can't stop. I do like this one. It has very fun color combinations. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. You guys can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Letterboxd, Snapchat, Goodreads, Twitter, which is now X. And you can also subscribe to me on here, which would be really so sweet of you. And I think with that, I think this is goodbye. This could be a thumbnail. Mm -hmm.